My name is Jane and I am a survivor of being body and food shamed. Let's get into it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you guys my experiences of being body and food shamed. And then I also really want to discuss society's bizarre opinions on how women need to eat and look. So the first time I remember being body shamed, I was around 11 years old. To put it as society would, my breasts were late to the party, but in actual fact, they were right on time because my body, my time. I am full of sass today, but to give you guys some context, I was in a co-ed junior school and I remember in grade five and grade six, girls being body shamed or mocked for developing breasts. And then in grade seven, I was mocked and ridiculed for not developing and I remember being called surfboard by a bunch of boys that were obviously immature but that really didn't affect me but what did was it was a sports day and I wore like a lycra spandex superwoman suit and a teacher that I really respected, I still respect him, but I really respected him, I really admired him, and I probably had like a little schoolgirl crush on him as well. I remember him saying that I didn't need a bra because I didn't have anything to support. I am by no means shaming this teacher or trying to, I don't know, make drama or I'm not bitter about it. But what I do want to try and bring to light is that that was 12 years ago, but I still remember the exact feeling that I had when that was said to me, the exact feelings that I had towards my body, the way that I wanted to dress, and also just the feelings that I had around my breasts. That is something worth talking about, and that is something worth bringing to the forefront. Fast forward to last year, I was having a really tough year with my body. I had gained a lot of weight from being back on the yo-yo of restrictive dieting. In the beginning of the year I'd already lost around 10 kilograms but my goal was to lose 30 so I was still very much in the punishment of that journey and I hadn't done anything on a social level. I was really just going to the gym and obsessing over my food. I remember the morning when my mom came to me and said Janie we're gonna go for a breakfast. It was the first time that I'd sat in a public area and had a beautiful breakfast with my mom. I was totally, like for two hours, I forgot the hate that I felt towards my body and food. I was just transported to another time. So I was a bit, you know, had the <laughs> spring in my step. In that state, I remember going to pay for some groceries with my mom that we picked up that morning. And I was smiling and the cashier said to me, why are you so happy? And I said, I just have had a beautiful day with my mom. I remember before her asking me why I was happy, she was looking at me, like looking at my, what I thought, my hoodie. So I thought maybe she liked it, so I just continued smiling. But after saying that I'd had a beautiful breakfast with my mom, she told me that I needed to stop eating because I was fat. I remember, because we were in a shopping center, I remember thinking that I hadn't heard her correctly, so I asked her, excuse me, I didn't hear you. And she said louder with more articulation, you need to stop eating because you are so fat. In that moment, I didn't laugh. I didn't respond. I did nothing. I froze. Immediately, I felt like I'd been punched in the face and I did nothing but turn around crying and go sit in the car. I just, I could not in that moment ask her what gives you the right to say anything about me, perhaps what has hurt you to feel like you could hurt me, but then also after like a, a long journey of thinking about this and processing it in the car, I thought to myself, why was being called fat the biggest insult that I felt that I could receive from somebody? And that led me to really think about the stigma that is around the word fat. I remember in my very first post on my F words, I'm going to link it here so that you guys can follow my Instagram. The very first post that I had on my F words was trying to just destigmatize the word fat and say that we all have it. It keeps us warm. It, you know, some of us have more of it and some of, the, some of us have less of it. And in that time of me posting it, I had the most fat on my body than I'd ever had. So in many ways, I still felt I was so vulnerable. It was going to be the bravest thing that I'd ever done by saying this is what I look like and this journey is going to be about loving myself into recovery and not punishing myself in my recovery. But I do want to say that I think it's time, I know that it's time that we normalize and celebrate the word fat because in that sense 
I truly believe that body shaming and uh, insults around especially female bodies but bodies in general will have to end. So now on to food shaming. First thing, this ridiculous notion that women have to eat less than men and men have to be bigger than women and women have to be smaller than men. The fact that we are still using statements like lady portions and man sized is ridiculous because I have the complete right, whoa, I'm on the soapbox, but sorry, I have the complete right to eat as much as my body needs. And if my body needs a portion that is bigger than a man's, then that's what it needs. And I shouldn't be shamed for that. But in saying that, I have a little story to share with you guys. I was at a dinner where I was very hungry. I needed to dish up a lot of food for myself, but... As we know, none of us walk around with signs around our neck explaining to people what our days are like or if we didn't have a good lunch or anything like that. So nobody, like people just aren't aware of our emotional and physical states. So anyway, I dished up a lot of food and a lady who didn't know that I am in recovery from an eating disorder, and again, I'm not trying to shame her, I'm just trying to bring to light that we have to be sensitive to people's journeys because we actually just don't know where they're coming from. Anyway, I dished up a big plate and she said to me, whew, that's a big portion for a girl. I remember feeling hurt. I remember like the initial feeling that I had was like, oh, you know, that's, that's crap. The fact that you had to like felt that you could speak on how much I dished up for myself. And then I thought to myself, I need to do a video on this because we just don't know where people are coming from. I really just want to bring to light that also, I am human, I definitely make mistakes, and I definitely will unintentionally shame somebody without knowing about it. But I think if we can go into life with just a sensitivity and just an understanding that we are all different and that we are all on a different journey and that we have to be sensitive to that journey, I think that it will truly just bring us closer together. And then also I thought about the fact that healthy doesn't have a look and happy doesn't have a look. So it's very difficult to think that we can say things to people because they look healthy and happy. We can't tell somebody's emotional and physical well-being by looking at them. I'm really glad that I got to share just my experiences with you guys. It was a video that I thought long and hard about because I really didn't want this to be, you know, a shaming on anybody else who's unintentionally made somebody else feel uncomfortable. I just think it's about us taking responsibility for the fact that we can't actually speak on anybody's weight and how they look and just anything about them generally. But in the same sense, I don't think that we should feel that we're walking in on, on eggshells around people. I just think if we ask the right questions and are sensitive towards them, we'll be able to live in a lot more peace and harmony. So if you guys feel comfortable, please share with me any experiences that perhaps you've had with being body and food shamed. You can comment down below or you can share your story by using the hashtag bodypositivesa. I am so excited to just open this up and let this be a conversation of sharing to remind us that whatever it is that we are going through we are not alone so remember to subscribe and share and like this video it really does support this message but more importantly remember to nourish your body in love and move it in celebration i'll see you in the next video bye Ooh, the light is changing the light is coming anyway I'm still, I'm still